are you with the marches? Have you are you on your way to starting already? Uh, I'm not with them, but uh, I know about the march and the grievances and the question that you have just asked about uh, Figile Mbalula uh, to be arrested. We have said as MKMV that we have been patient with Comrade Mbalula for insulting us. What he did in Brasa is negligence and that he must be held accountable for. There is no way that you can remove the security without putting in any contingency plans. As such, the infrastructure of government has been destroyed and stolen. We have opened up for criminals and zamazamas and everybody to destroy the infrastructure of government. And therefore, the person responsible for taking that decision, including the head of security, must be held accountable for that because government is going to spend more than five billion to invest in uh, reconstructing again the, 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 the rail lines. Could this be seen as a change for the MKM MVA in terms of what your motors operandi is? Look, we, we, we are part of a society and uh, we can't keep quiet when uh, the infrastructure of government get destroyed by negligent leaders in the African National Congress. We have to stand up and rise up as it is our duty that to make sure that the, the security of our country, uh, mainly as MKMVA, we know it better. And therefore the decision taken by uh, Comrade Mbalula to remove the security from uh, the post that we are protecting the rain our people are paying more, they're complaining to us that our salary ends up in transport. We can't put food on the, on the table because of this sabotage, which we call sabotage now, but it was a negligence from the Minister of Transport. Have you engaged with the Minister in regards to this? Look, remember when the region of Johannesburg tried to... Uh, uh, open a case he insulted uh, the mk members as if uh, he knows members of mk better than us which was an insult to us we've been quiet for a long time and that if our people need a voice of reason mk is a voice of reason we're not we are not afraid of anybody will say things as they are that we're not going to tweet about the sabotage of the infrastructure for our people these are our people that are suffering from the townships who are supposed to go to work, but they can't go to work now because of negligence of one person who is busy tweeting in the media instead of taking care of the security of the infrastructure of our country. So the problems at Prasa uh, precede the time of leadership of uh, Minister Mbalula. What specific issues do you have with him that you think that the South African Police Service will be able to charge him on? Look, the, the issue that you are talking about is that uh, Comrade Mbalula was deployed as a minister of Prasa, but the sabotage that is happening now and before at least when the security was there, it was easy to, uh, it was not easy for the criminals or the Nyoga Nyoga to sabotage the infrastructure. But once you remove all of it without putting contingency plans in place, you have allowed them to take it. That's negligence. That means he must pay just like other people are appearing, appearing in Zondo Commission who took 250 million without doing anything, that he left the post vacant and say people come and take this infrastructure so he must be held accountable for that so we were speaking to an analyst earlier professor adam habib and he was saying south africans have lost all confidence in the south african police service how confident are you uh, that the police will follow up on your demand look we have got confidence in the police uh, south african police uh, services they've got too much on their table and they're trying to do everything uh, to make sure that our people are safe and feel safe so what is happening is that there was a security companies that were deployed 
as a force multiplier to assist the South African police services. Now, if you move Red Force mass multiplier to assist the police, you are then stretching, overstretching the police that cannot do uh, too much to deal with the issue of the, the infrastructure. But the police, we have got confidence in, 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 in them. They are doing their work, just like what is happening with the GPV. It is because some of the things they happen in the houses where police are not there. But police, they manage to arrest the perpetrators. And it's up to now to the uh, NPA and the, the, the judiciary and the justice to sentence those people. But police do their work and we call upon our people to have confidence in the police, in the South African police services. Well, please give us the details then uh, in terms of which other organizations will support the march and uh, what other grievances you have and where people, how the march, the march uh, details in terms of times and, and routes. Look, we, we, we have the support of the truck, truck, truck drivers, which is an issue that we've been raising as MKMVA that uh, most of them, they are not employed and when they look for employment, you find that the work is given to foreigners. We're not xenophobic, but we're saying as, a, a, as MKMVA, which I'm happy that the Houghton government is beginning to deal with it, that there must be a side aside for South Africans. And this one, this, this one's the untouchable. But you can't allow a situation where South Africans are getting unemployed every day. And this uh, truck owners, they employ foreigners because of their cheap labor and our people get unemployed. And they are now rising up and say, MKMVA, we hear you, you are a voice of reason, please assist us also in your, uh, your political space that our voices must be heard. We think our voices are not yet. So we, we are saying the issues of the foreigners, it must be dealt with. Uh, sensitively as it is, but we must not be afraid to deal with it. But also we're talking about the plight of the ex-combatants, that since from 1991, there have been promises that uh, we will deal with the issues of uh, the ex-combatants. I cannot tell you ab about them now because it is going to take a lot of time, but we have promised heaven and earth. But little has been done so far. That is why we're fighting for as uh, MK uh, uh, combatants that it, it, our issues must resolve as a matter of agents. No more promises. We now talk about implementation, including that the land we need. I'm happy that this process of expropriation of land without compensation, that's what we want to do because we want to play a role also in uh, the farming uh, industry. Mr. Mapato, thank you so much for giving us those details. But I'm going to ask you this. Um, it's, it's not related. Another conversation we had with uh, Professor Habib was looking at corruption in the country. And he was saying that every sector of society is affected. How is uh, MKMVA dealing with the issue of corruption? And are, they, uh, are, are you having these issues within the organization? Look, as MKMVA, uh, we come from a, a community of very poor people. And, uh, but anyone who is a member of MKMVA found to be involved in corruption, we are not going to have sympathy with him. He must face the might of law and be arrested. And as MKMVA, we support the decisions of the conference and the decisions of the National Executive Committee of the ANC that all those who are corrupt, they must uh, face the might of the law uh, and be arrested. Especially what we've seen in Houghton now that the Premier has released uh, 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 Comrade Bandi Le Masuku, but at the same time is contradicting himself by saying if he, does, if he is not found guilty, he will be reinstated. It has never happened in South Africa that thing. If a person has violated the constitution and the PFMA, he, he must be removed and once and for all. So that's the decision that we need because if you say you will bring him back, you are saying that you condone corruption. So decisions of, about corruption, we are not sympathetic to it. We support the decision of the National Executive Committee of the ANC that hate must run of those who are corrupt. 
How are you engaging with uh, the recent arrests we've seen of uh, uh, people who are uh, uh, accused of corruption and are apparently linked to the African National Congress? Look, uh, the African National Congress is not corrupt, but it is individuals who infiltrate to be members of the ANC and do corrupt things, not with the ANC, but with other individuals. And as such, the name of the organization get into disrepute. But African National Congress, that is why it has taken a step, a decisive step, step that those, all those who are involved in corruption, whether you're in senior position or what, the law must do its work and arrest. How do you take 250 million of our, of our government and don't do anything and you just share it amongst yourselves. That's anarchy. So it is indefensible, those things. And these people, they happen to be members of the ANC. And I think they must be expelled from the ANC so that the ANC must cleanse itself. We must not be afraid to deal with this thing harshly and not by faces of other people. All right, let's thank you for talking to us this morning. Thank you, man. Kevin Mapato is the president of uh, the MKMVA.